Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Now today, Monday, July 26th, um, in the morning, Tottenham Hotspur announced that they had officially signed Brian Heal from Sevilla for a fee of about £25 million, which is close to $30 million, $30, $35 million uh, United States dollars. And in exchange, Eric Lamella, a longtime member of the Spurs squad, um has gone to Spain and joined the Sevilla, Sevilla squad. Brian Heal is a very exciting signing. Yeah. Uh, he's a very... He's a very... He's like Cruyff-like. He reminds me yeah. of Cruyff and Messi. His hair. His, his hair, hair reminds you of Cruyff and early Messi. Yeah. Um, he won the Europa League in 2019, to the 2019-20 uh, season with Sevilla, so with Reggion as well. Uh, actually, they're good teammates, Brian Hill and Sergio Reguilón. Actually, Reguilón was the reason for uh, Tottenham to announce it. He yeah. was like, announce it. Announce it, Spurs official. And then, uh, I believe, Spurs retweeted and said, dos segundos, which means two seconds. Um, this is a really exciting signing, the okay. exciting part. Um, so he's just 20 years old, very young. Mm -hmm. Um, he is a left winger, so um, I don't know if that will mean we'll have to play Sonny on the right or if he can adapt to the right. I think Sonny will adapt to the right. Uh, he was on loan at Abar last year, uh, made 28 appearances for them. He's a, nicknamed the Little Cruyff. He's actually had three senior Spain caps and is actually part of the Olympic squad right now, so that's why there really hasn't been a proper interview with him because he is in Tokyo. Uh, he also won the under-19 Euros. Uh, in 2019 with Spain, and he is the first player born in the 21st century to score in the La Liga. Um, as I said, he's currently representing Spain at the Olympic Games. Uh, I th I don't know if he's made any starts, but I know he's made a couple sub appearances. No goals or assists yet, but it's a huge signing, and I'm very excited. Yeah, he's just lots of excitement. Yeah, very we, quick. We have we we have we've never had a player like this. Before. Yeah. This is the this, first time we've brought in a winger. Yeah. For a long time. For a, for a long time. What was the last one? Lucas Moore in 2017. Except he was brought in more, I guess. No, he was he was brought in a winger. But then eventually he adapted more to strike. Yeah, and, well, the striker when Harry was gone. Yeah. Um, um, he'll, I don't know if he'll fit right into our starting lineup immediately. I know Nuno likes to take his time with new signings. Um, but I think another thing is Spurs need to um, calm down on the attacking signings. Defense. Well, we've only had one. But, you know, focus more on the defense. Because if we took out Dyer's mistakes only from mm -hmm. last season's games, we could have come third. Which is just shows we were fine with leads, but it was our defense that when put under pressure, it was so fragile. Yeah. And it was those two center backs. Right and left back were pretty good. Sergio a little shaky. Reggiano a little shaky towards the end of the season. But they were relatively solid. It was the center backs that was the problem. And hopefully we can finish up the Romero deal. I know Koundé's kind of in the middle because he wants to go to CL club. Uh, Champions League club. But yeah, he was, He's also linked with Madrid. Yeah. Real Madrid. But um, Romero, oh, he, Romero wants to come here. Yeah. Probably to link up with Gio and all that. He was you know? the best... Best defender in the Copa America, in right? The Copa and Syria. Syria last season. Yeah. yeah. And Very... he played a big part in this Copa America. Yeah. Won it with Gio, uh, with Argentina. So that that's um, another. I'm excited to see Brian Gill because Brian Keel, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, he 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 seems like he's like he's like he's gonna be one of those you know. Um, players that like to run in behind. Just run, you run, run and attack. Run and attack. But he's got the skills with him. Yeah. That's why he's named the Little Croix because he got all those skills. He's got the skills. He almost like Mel Lamella. Yeah, that, I, that's what I was gonna say. We basically replaced Lamella with another, with what we needed Lamella to be that quick yeah. winger. Now let's move on to Eric Lamella. Eight years at Tottenham Hotspur, and just, I believe, like 50 or 60 goals for us. He was injured probably 50% of the time, but what a player. Yeah. He, if you cut him open with a knife, like if you, if you like, cut him open, made a little cut, his blood would be blue and white for Tottenham. <laughs> he bleeds spurs. He is the most passionate player I've seen in a while. Yeah. Very passionate. What was your favorite goal that he scored? 
I don't think it's a Divi. It's definitely Arsenal. Yeah, same. Arsenal. Arsenal. Um, but he's got... He's... Okay. He's had some other pretty good goals. Yeah. Um, Against Barcelona and the Champions League. Chelsea Champions and the Carabao good. Cup. Yeah. City in the Premier League. So he's, he's got some goals. Was it against... The, the first Rabona one, was that against um, Carabag? No, yeah, no, it wasn't Carabag. It was in the, it was in the Europa League, League yeah. yeah. Son's first goal was at, yeah. uh, against Carabag. But, um... <laughs> now that Eric Lamella has gone, it's like, man, we don't have him anymore. <laughs> Who's going to be that guy who goes in and sla- ta- tackles and slides and gets into arguments with literally everyone he sees? Well, Gio's probably going to do Yeah, that but now. Gio's too, like... He's too good for that. Romero, if we get him. <laughs> oh, might. oh no! It's gonna be Romero. It's gonna be Romero. <laughs> Romero and Rodon. <laughs> Imagine them two together. They'd be incredible. Incredible partnership. But they, they, they're just so like they love to get feisty. Yeah. Into arguments. They're, they're like team leaders. They, yeah. 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 But again, very excited for Brian Hill. Um, Eric Lamella, kind of sad that he's gone because you know eight years at the club, you just can't. He was never moved on. He was always here. Um, yeah, you, you just can't hate yeah. him, can you? The way he's played for us. Um, but hopefully he finds success in Sevilla. Scores some more goals than he did. Um, you're not a true Spurs fan if you didn't worry about him passing his medical because of how fragile he is and how many injuries he gets. I was genuinely worried about that. Um, but luckily he passed. He's number 17 at Sevilla. Um, so... I'd love to see him bag a couple, a couple more goals than he got here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I'm very excited for Brian Heal. Very excited to see what this brings. But but we need some more signings from Paratici. Romero. Romero's almost wrapped up, apparently. Mm-hmm. There's just like a $5 million difference between the bit, the price tag. I think they want 60 and we're at like $55. Um, but we're very close. Um, make sure you subscribe. We are only 20 subscri- 22 subscribers away from 28. It's from 300 subscribers. Yeah. Let's get there soon. Uh, let's get there really soon. Hopefully, maybe even by August. Yeah, hopefully. Let's get there by August. That's the goal. Um, so get us to 300 subscribers to August, and we'll do something. What that is, I don't know. And also, try let's let's try and get 20 likes on this video. Yes. Um, but until next time. Come on, you Spurs!